Howdy folks, welcome to Found Flicks. You might remember a few months back, I posted the trailer for an upcoming horror documentary called In Search of Darkness, the definitive 80s horror documentary, which features a staggering lineup of filmmakers, actors, and many others, including me, discussing the singular magic that is horror in the 1980s. Since their successful campaign, they've gone into production, recently teasing clips of some of the many interviews that has gotten me even more excited, and even added some more impressive people like Hellraiser's Doug Bradley, my man and James, aka Dead Meat, and even the king himself, John Carpenter. I know! So if you want to make sure to secure a copy for yourself, now's your chance. The filmmakers have a new campaign where you can order the disc right now, and it's region free, or digital if that's what you're into. Plus more packages including posters and t-shirts featuring their incredible artwork and all kinds of cool stuff. For all the details you need, check down in the description for the link. And you'd better hurry as the campaign ends this Sunday, March 31st. So don't delay if you want to secure your own copy, as through the campaign is the only way to get one. Check it out if you're interested, and here's a look at the second trailer featuring even more interviews that they put together. Hi, I'm Chucky, wanna play? So this is the 80s. It was a free-for-all for concepts. When your guard is down, that. Very impressive gore. I just think they're hilarious. It's showtime. 80s horror was honest. Most horrifying things that I'd ever seen. Terrific. It felt like a simpler time. Good and evil, right and wrong. It's pushing back against a lot of what's happening in the 80s at the time. Things that people really are afraid to talk about. Reaganomics, AIDS crisis. Boundaries were being broken. It was taboo. sex and nudity on screen, and it's just as much of a hook as the violence was. That resonates on a biological level with every human being. It got into your head. I'd like sit friends down and be like, you gotta see this. Horror has given a lot of women great roles to play. Equal opportunity ass kicking is what I'm all for. Kincaid represented the minorities all over the world, and he was a hero. Everything's ironic, everything's funny. You get to have the fun of the danger without the real danger. Tension, chase, kill. It's just our survival. That element of the unknown, that sense of mortal fear, is what the quintessence of horror is about. We got special work to do here, you and me. It's unrelenting, the blood in the gore. Horror films are excessive, they're purging. Everybody was trying to outdo each other with the stunts. I will take practical effects any day over CGI. I wanted to be the guy in the monster suit. The makeup artists became one of the stars of the movie. Monsters, vampires. Cavalcade of werewolves. I thought I was making the only werewolf film. It was really disturbing and phenomenal. Every single person on this earth has a little bit of darkness in them. I want to have extreme feelings. I want to laugh loud, and I want to worry, and then I want to cry. And it's all about the emotion. I was a kid in Stranger Things that would hop on my bike with all my friends, ride down to the video store, rent a stack of horror movies. We were all in the moment and making stuff up. I love the magic of the movies. We don't take ourselves seriously, but we take the movies very seriously. Nostalgia is powerful. Guilty pleasure? I'm not guilty about it. <laughs> I don't feel guilty. <laughs> I think it's great. We have such sights to show you. Holy shit.